Welcome to Dogwood News, I'm AC. Uh, attention all Bulldogs, don't forget that Leaders of the Pack is available every Tuesday morning beginning at 9.40 a.m. in the room 116 of the Mid-High. Parent-teacher conferences were Tuesday and Thursday from 4.30 to 7.30. Financial aid meeting with Cameron in high school cafeteria was Monday at 5.30. Good luck to the ninth grade basketball teams tonight in the Comanche tournament. And seniors, please see Ms. Fritz's website for scholarship information. Sophomore and juniors, if you're interested in enrolling in Great Plains Technology Center next year and you missed the initial interview session on January 14th, you need to see Ms. Fritz as soon as possible. Honor Band will be competing at the Swabda Honor Band competition on Friday and Saturday this week. This is a reminder that every day ID badges are to be worn. If you have lost yours or did not receive one, see Ms. Lafferty at the Mid-High Office. Focus word of this week was attitude, a feeling of emotion to a fact. The quote this week is, I'm convinced that life is 10% of what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. Charles Swindle. Today is Groundhog's Day. Phil saw his shadow and predicts six more weeks of winter. Yearbook order deadline has been extended to February 15th. Order forms are in Miss Hewitt's room. Thank you. I'm here with Hazel and Summer Rich, and they're going to explain to us the forms of there. Summer, use this form of there in a sentence. This is a contraction, meaning this means they are. They are going to the basketball game. Very good. Use this form of there in a sentence. This is like a place. I will go over there. Correct. Use this form of there in a sentence. This is showing ownership. So I could say that is their dog. Awesome. On February 7, 1964, 51 years ago, Pan Am Yankee Clipper Flight 101 from London Heathrow lands at New York Kennedy's Airport and Beatlemania arrives. It was the first visit to the United States by the Beatles, a British rock and roll quartet that had just scored its first number one U.S. hit six days before with I Want to Hold Your Hand. At Kennedy, the Fab Four dressed in mob suits and sporting their trademark Putting bowl haircuts were greeted by 3,000 screaming fans who caused a near riot when the boys stepped off the airplane and onto American soil. February 2nd, Groundhog Day, is when the groundhog comes out its hole, and if it sees its shadow, we will have six more weeks of winter. The Groundhog Day celebration takes place in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. Hi, my name is Matt and this is Brooke. What are y'all working on this week in art? Um, we're working on these masks and we them out of clay and it's based off of zodiac charts. So you just pick like what year or what month you were in and there's like three different ones you can choose from. So you guys can only use clay? Yeah, only clay and you can just pretty much make a bunch of different textures and layer it in different levels. Oh, what do you use the textures for? Like how do you like, like, I'm doing flames on mine, so I'll probably smooth them out, and then I'm doing scales too, so they're going to be completely different textures so they like, really kind of stand out. Cool. What inspired you? Um, well, I was born in 2000, so I was the dragon, so I'm drawing the dragon stuff. So, cool. that's what mine is. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Groundhog Day, February 2nd, is a popular tradition in the United States. It is also a legend that traverses centuries, its origins clouded in the midst of time with ethnic cultures and animals awakening on a specific date. Myths such as this tie up resent the distant past when nature did indeed influences our lives. It is the day that the groundhogs come out of its hole after a long winter sleep to look for its shadow. If he sees it, he regards it as an omen of six more weeks of bad weather and returns to his hole. If the day is cloudy and hence is shadowless, he takes it as a sign of spring and stays above ground. The groundhog tradition stems from a similar beliefs associated with Cannabis Day in the days of early Christians in Europe. In first centuries, the custom was to have the clergy bless candles and dis distribute them to the people. Even <coughs> then, it marked a milestone in the winter and the weather that day was important. Today, our school starts Pennies for Pasta and joins 29,000 schools nationwide in the fight against blood cancer. For the next few weeks, we will help people who are sick with blood cancers like leukemia, lymphoma, and melanoma. Our honored hero for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is Mr. Holland. We will have some posters recognizing him in the hallways. We will also have posters recognizing other Oklahoma heroes who have survived the, their battle with cancer. 
All you have to do is collect coins and other donations and put them in your 4th hour classrooms collection box and encourage friends and family to donate online. Our school goal is to raise $3,000. The 4th hour class, 9th through 12th, that raises the most money will win lunch with, from Olive Garden. Let's show our support to Mr. Holland and other families and people who are fighting cancer. All other school buildings are also participating in the Pennies for Pasta Drive, so we all need high school students, faculty, and staff to get really involved. Who can raise the most money?